Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris with the Federation's DLC slash expansion and we're back with the democratic Adari technocracy uh, nothing's happening here yet I just think this looks really cool we'll, we'll go clear this area out in the near future um, in the distant future uh, but yeah, so this episode, I think it's going to be all about... I mean, it'd be nice to clear out this and grab those 34 minerals. But in this episode, I'm going to folk... I mean, it's a very good buffer as well for me, these guys. In this episode, for the third time, uh, I'm going to try and fill out our empire, do a bit of colonization, research, and all that good stuff. So, let's go ahead. First things first. Good. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh... Expansion planner. So, I thought that there's definitely got to be more. Oh, maybe it's because it's, it's colonizable, so it's only stuff in our space. Complete. That's fine. Um, oh, it failed. Oh, that's a shame. So, research complete. We got. Oh. Well, rip. Well, we tried. Anyway, hi. Oh, we got faster research. Ooh, oh. Anyway, we got a heritage site. System capital complex. Ooh. So that's the next slot, and it gives us that. But naval capacity is really tempting. It's also really expensive. So are you. Hmm. We don't have any crystals. We could buy them, because we have the galactic market now, don't we? I kind of think this one, because it gives us the extra slot. But we're still expanding. We're still using a lot of influence. And it costs like 200 influence to actually do that. But we're not going to be expanding for long, so maybe we do grab it. It will take 118 months. It's like just under 10 years. 10 years in like 10 months, is it? Or 9 years, 10 months. There is this one. It's very, very, very tempting. But we can go over the cap. It's the fleet cap we can't go over. So I think we grab this. We'll grab that. We can also upgrade our capital further eventually as well. And it should be fine. You. 42 years and 3 days. A closer scan of the debris field around Xania 1 has led to the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It has a frequency uncertainty so low that it will be another 879 million years before it gains a single second, and it is counting down to a date 42 years and 3 days away. The capsule has no clues as to what this date signifies or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of time. Ooh, this is probably a really bad idea, but I really, 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 really want to know what happens. Keep an eye on it. Yes, 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 yes. So we'll come back in 42 years and 3 days and see what happens. No, I'm kidding. We're going, to, we're going to continue. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and expansion planner for the third time. I kind of think we go with this one. It's closer. It's only one tile smaller. Um, Let's see. I mean, there's nothing... They're all very much geared towards agriculture. And we already have a lot of agriculture. Be nice we got like an energy one i mean this is this isn't too bad for energy rare deposits what's this bubbling swamp and i have no idea what they are doesn't sound very nice uh i think we just go ahead and get canandrius 95 percent, 85 45 okay you can do it i believe uh yes go ahead and grab that can we grab both you reckon You. I mean, we could. We could colonize two systems. Uh, okay, we'll go for the biggest ones. Um, yeah, we'll go for the biggest ones. That's fine. Tell you what, no. We will actually go for this one. It's, I know... Uh, <sighs> mm. We'll go for this one. Because it's green. We're not going to use as many resources. There we go. That will be fine. Extremophobia. Spervia Avidius and her crew have made a surprising discovery on Hokaja 1A. The molten planet is home to an exotic array of extremophilic organisms. Cool. So basically, they're tardigrades, right? Cool. 
yeah, they're farting out gas. Uh, you are moving, right? Oh, we're on fast. Let's go fastest. Cool, 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 cool. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and look at our ships, because I think we've got some new super duper techs. Uh, we'll come back to the ships. Right. I think we grab this. We saw trust cap, which means that people are more likely to join our federation. Yeah. Let's grab that. Boom. So they can like us a bit more. Uh, we also have an essential put back. I don't think there's anything new, which is very disappointing for an expansion. I will say that much about this, about the Federation's uh, expansion. There's nothing here that I saw that's new. That's a shame. Uh, I don't know. Do we want anything? I th maybe we just hold, like, save it. I mean, monthly unity could be good. Because even when we get everything, Unity is good for really powerful bonuses later on. So maybe we go with one vision now. Enigmatic engineering is fun. Uh, it means if we go to war, people can reverse engineer our stuff. But we don't plan on going to war. I think we go with one vision. Just get the extra Unity, the fast Unity. And then in like two ticks, we'll be getting another uh, perk anyway. We also need two to begin with anyway. Uh, I'm going to go with one vision. Boom. Also, it means we don't have to worry about spiritualists as much. Uh, cool. And it reduces the amenities usage. So they're going to be happier as well. I think we did this last time, didn't we? Unpause, ship designer. Uh, what's up, Max? First, we'll sort you out. Yeah, we're nowhere near. Uh, minus 5,000. Thank you. Okay. All right. Revelations. Uh, our research crew in orbit of Volmara Prime has made a series of fascinating breakthroughs regarding the planet's strange sea of consciousness. With science officer Lucio Mercidius acting as an invaluable asset to the team, the crew has described the planetary sea as a psionic entity. Ooh, psionics, you say? It seems incorporeal. It seemingly incorporeal state, in fact, belies, 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 and a complex and coherent quantum wave structure approximating a massive neural network unlike any other on record. Uh, the research has led to incredible insights into psionic theory and deepened our understanding of the interaction of quantum states and consciousness. As for Lucia, Lucia Mercidius herself, our former science officer will remain on the, orbit on the orbital's facility for as long as we maintain it. Ooh, we get psionic theory. Research complete. Anomaly found. Hang on. Oh, well, that's, that's, that sucks. I thought we got psionics. Sure. Never mind. I mean, it does help us a little bit. What's that? Ooh, what do we get? What was it? Resolutions. Um, wait. I want to see the past ones. Resolutions. Uh, where was it? Where? I am so confused. Oh, there we go. Uh, what is it? Diplomatic weight from tech plus 20% and cool. So how are we looking now? We're, we're pretty good. We're not super duper powerful, but we are pretty good. Our tech level went up. We, I think we're the best for tech around. By the looks of things, not by much, just by scooch. They might be a advanced start though. Uh, 65, 55, 22. It does look like we are pretty high. Uh, there's another one. Again, another advanced start, perhaps. Because it looks like the average is around, like, 120-ish. Maybe 130. And we are, like, 196. We are definitely the best technologically. 163, yeah, because there's there's only one thing that can affect your tech, and is, is from tech. So yeah, we, cool. Our economy isn't doing too bad either. We aren't the biggest, but we're about to rocket that up. Our fleet power is poop. Our pops are pretty big, but we're not the biggest either. Cool. Uh, do we have anything to vote on? Not yet. We've already assigned everything. Um. Habitability, yeah, we opposed that. Fleet power. Uh, that could help us. 
Defense, army morale, army up. I'm going to actually say yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just because it's it will actually help us, because we don't have a strong military. We can just come back and change that later on. Cool. How is the Federation looking? We're at 100% cohesion. Good, good, good. We are gaining a lot of XP now, which is fantastic. So we're going to level up. Let's have a look at you. Will you join us? Minus seven. We're getting there. Oop. Uh, I guess we could maybe send them a bunch of minerals, perhaps, off a trade deal. I don't... What do you... Ooh, you can trade for a favor. Oh, so you can buy favors. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, in that case, I won't give you that. I'll give you minerals. Really? Give you 2,000. There we go. Confirm. Alright, junk ball. What's the junk ball? From the From Beyond crew report that what first appeared to our scanners as an asteroid is in fact a gigantic floating ball of junk. Comprised of the broken remains of various vehicles, rockets, and hazardous material, the junk ball seems to be the detritus of an unknown alien nation in the early... So... Is this a ref a very subtle reference to that Futurama episode, where they in like a few hundred years before uh, Futurama set as like twenty five hundreds or something, they basically got all the rubbish on Earth and launched it into space, and it kind of like did a little bit of a slingshot around Pluto or something, and it was coming straight back at Earth. So their solution to that was launch another great big ball of garbage and basically play space billiards. Is that a subtle reference to this? Uh, it would appear that Nation was an interstellar litterer, ejecting din- uh, cool. Anyway. Ooh, we get a minor artifact. What do we get? Waste not, one. Where are they? That is, yeah, complete, yeah. But the recent survey carried out from seems about a breakthrough. Oh, cool. Got Elgate insight. Nice. Don't really care because we don't have any Elgates. Anomaly found. Go for it. Invoke. There we go. Confirm. System survey complete. Failed. What? Oh, see, this is what I hate about federations in this game. Any kind of alliance. Like, the whole federation thing seems cool. But the AI will always say no. And it doesn't say how. Like, oh. Yeah, look, look. They're overwhelming. They would be great, but it doesn't say why they it failed. Can I like I should say, you are my vassal. You should do as I say. <sighs> Integrate subject. No. Like you. Our relations. Yeah. Th there's nothing where I can say, like in CK two. When you have favors, what you can do is you can cash them in, um, or you can call in a favor. What that means is the next thing you do relating to that character. So, for example, if they're on your council, um, you know, like they're a chancellor, that means they get a vote. For example, they're in our federation. The next thing we propose, they will have to vote in line with us. Or like if we say, um, you know, one, let's say the empire here, they proposed a war with these guys. And it's, you know, it's got to be unanimous. But let's say it wasn't. Let's just say it's majority rules, and these two were going to vote yes. We could, in CK2, call in the favor to say, vote along our lines, and they will say no, and they have to vote no. Because <sighs> otherwise, favors are worthless. Like, yeah, we can get them to do it, but honestly, this, I would vote yes. Potential favors plus 15. Enter is sponsored by that. So they would vote yes. But why will our protectorates vote no? I mean, I could always integrate them. Because they're pretty tiny. They're not really growing. So we could integrate our vassal. And then they wouldn't be able to vote no. But the thing is, it's like... I don't know, there should be a way where we can, like, convince the AI, like, especially if the player 
like basically do what that does the other guys are doing they're going to vote yes because we are sponsoring them and we're the player because this is breaking the federation gameplay at this point like we can't grow because some stupid one plant one star empire that is teeny tiny and our vassal or protectorate is like oh no i don't want them in the empire or in the federation so anyway we'll leave it go for a little bit rant over for the time being but uh i am um, this is why I, I rarely go federations the only reason we're doing it is because i want to see what the um the gameplay is like it's really good really interesting gameplay don't get me wrong but oh my gosh we'll get robots all right resume how are we looking here three wait what oh yeah we got rid of something didn't we? white hell you got voidcraft what's this Plus three, Kavarily. Uh, sure. Go and help. This is the thing we said a little while complete. ago. Probably should go help them. Where can we move now? Um, Uh-oh. Hi. You. Go and do that again, because I don't want you going in here and dying. Uh, I guess go grab the for trade. You... Go grab that. It's got that, and they're gonna border us at some point anyway. Oh yeah, we're gonna cancel the research agreements as well, weren't we, at the start of this episode? I forgot about that. Break a research agreement. Yes, you have to be in our federation to get research agreements, because it's free for us. Hi. Over the comms. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, other calls. Yep. Very well. We'll see what happens. I'm sure they'll be fine. Handshake protocols activated. No, go away. Join our federation and then you can have it. Um. Oh, wow. <gasps> 500 alloys, that's a lot. That's very, very tasty. Um, they're just being nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I was literally just thinking it'd be nice if we could uh, build... Grey goo. Ooh, where's this? Up here? Oh, I'll get insight, sure. Oh, we got assembly patterns. What do we get? Oh. I think that was already started, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. Um, You are done. Go here and pick up this. Cool. You go and Elise. Go and Elise search. What do you want? Oh no. We understand that your empire is home to an individual whose brilliant mind, blah blah blah. The exile. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait, who the hell is the exile? Oh. Um. Um, sure. I mean, he's just a guy, uh, yeah, he's just a guy on a ship. He's, there's nothing special about him. We got him from a random event, and he's old, so go for it. Take him. Why not? Uh, over here. I mean, he was doing a really big science he do, but whatever. You can go ahead and do it instead. Do that. Do that. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and build a few more expansionees. So we're currently planning to colonize those. Go grab you. Yep. Go grab System you. Complete. Do we pick up these? There will be a slight cost, but it's fine. They'll they'll evolve, right? Complete. Oh, we don't have. That's fine. Uh, and then we'll look into it. Have they not finished it yet? My gosh. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why it's taken so long. Yeah, go for it. Pew, 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 pew. Light show. Pretty. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's a big planet. Fair enough. Barren planets are worthless, I believe. Scan all frequencies. <gasps> we did it. See, I told you guys. And you doubted me. I told you they'd be fine. Welcome home. So we gain 80 influence, which is tasty. And we get... For 10 years, we get extra happiness. Good, 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 good. Um, return to base. Construction complete. Excellent. System survey complete. It went flawlessly. 
Oh, and good timing. Uh, we'll pick up you. So I would like the wormhole, and then we'll go pick up. We'll, we'll, we'll go. Okay, never mind. We won't go pick up. Building a new home. Oh, what do we miss? Hi. We get this. Uh, we don't have too much in the way of gases. Alloy mega forges could be nice, but we don't have moats. Research Let's complete. go with hangar bays. I like. Uh, I like. I like those. Oh, speaking of moats, but I think we need energy. Use you. Uh, the end of the who now? I'm sorry, what? What? How? What? What just... What, what, what just happened? How did... This was a major empire. What? What just got what? Uh, I, well, I, I, um, um, I have never seen that. Is this new, or is this a bug? Did they just suddenly like go kablu? Did they, did they lose their last planet? Is that what it was? Or all, all of this? No. They had like all this territory. They must have had more colonies than that. You know what I said about putting expansion on hold? I may have been lying. I may have been lying a lot. Because I want to go over here now. Oh dear. Can we scooch around, do you think? I don't think we can. I think we'll go Kaboomy. Oh, look at all this territory right for the taking. Oh, if only this wasn't in the way. We shouldn't have colonized this. I am really shocked at that. I did not realize they didn't have... Oh, well, you can't get the Gaia World because it's Prophet's Retreat. That'd be a stupid thing to do. And that one. We can grab these, though. Hi. You want a research agreement? I mean, you're over here, aren't you? I'm going to say yes, because... You'll vote no. Right, how about here now? You'll say yes. Oh, come on. Right, where's the Federation? Doors. Succession, voting. Invite members. It's got to be unanimous. We need level two. So when we go with level two, I'm going to switch to this. Hmm. And then we're going to switch to that eventually. Kick members. I am the Federation. Separate treaties. What's this? Prohibited. Uh, I don't get it. I don't know. So, we need level 2. How close are we to level 2? Quite far away. Hi. Uh, hang on, we'll come back to you. So, we're up to max. Is there no way to increase this beyond the max? Cohesion. Yeah, we already got monthly cohesion at max. Is there a way to boost this? I mean, it's unified. Become more divided. Uh, gain. Okay, so we just have to wait. Oh, we get 10 XP per month, is it? Yeah. How many months is that? 10, 50, uh, 70 months? Ah, it's not too bad. I can, I can wait. I can wait. Uh, hi, space bounty. While an asteroid falling on your planet can be nerve-wracking, uh, haven't you? Secundus has been rather fortunate. No harm has been has befallen the colony. Um, asteroid defense project. In minus five. Do not damage. Has useful materials. I guess we'll do this. Situation log updated. Sure. Uh, you. Oh, that's, that's a long time. We'll wait. We'll wait. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll wait. Uh, Sentence now session. What are we doing? We're like fourth biggest. See? We're growing. Hi. Activated. Yeah, you can join. Metamorphic dehydration. Following investigation on there, the form... Yeah, it's way too far for us to care. Uh, vote yes. Hooray! It worked. Oh, uh, they grabbed it. That's fine. We got this one. That's all I care about. 
For many a shrine, most of the asteroid has been laser chiseled with great precision into the likeness of a small Adari temple or large shrine. Uh, a shrine of the un untold, the great destroyer deity of old Adarian faiths. The temple has been tumbling through the quiet of space for far longer than we have been capable of space flight, which is disturbing at best. Terrifying at worst. Naturally, the science officer urges us to search for more stellar objects which match it. Then, looking we shall go. Situation log updated. Ba -do -ba -do, do -ba -do -ba -do. Track all on map. Let's have a look. Where are they? Where are they? Where are, oh, they're over here. Boom. Uh, go here. Oopsie. You know what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll take you back. It's fine. What? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hi. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add. Well, here's the deal. We got another room for 17 Situation more log peeps. But we need more. Well, we can upgrade that later. We do have unemployed, but they're robots. Have three jobs that gives us up to two. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I mean, hmm. Hmm. I think we get rid of you. Because what I want is to build that and then we'll replace you with like another commercial zone. I think that will be fine. Um and maybe we go ahead and build another one of them. Mm, yeah, that'll be alright. The benefactress. Status shrine, let's investigate it. Founding a new home. Research. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, I still can't believe that happened. Like, that's insane. An empire of that strength was wiped out by these guys. It's actually really terrifying, come to actually. Hmm. Hi. Go grab me that, because that's a decent amount of minerals. Uh, we got an election ongoing. We'll come back. So, who is likely to win? You. You will give her. You won't. We will lose the expansionist thing, which is unfortunate. But we. It's only fifteen percent. So. However, we would gain this, which oh, colony development speed, which is really really good because we want to build a lot of colonies really quick. Uh, I don't really care about that one though. Food growth. Sure. I think we just go ahead and let it play out. Uh, the old shrine, ban shrine to the old gods, shrine to the benefactress. Deciphering the pictograms in the benefactress. Sh Benefactress's shrine was a much smoother process than anticipated. All linguists involved described the language quickly, connecting or clicking in their minds, despite its age and complexity. However, the writings are unlikely to match make mu much sense until they are combined with the other writs associated with the rest of the quadrumvirate godhead. Oh my gosh. Lots of big fancy words. I think one of these actually is going to have I've, I think I've played, not played, but I've done this uh, quest line before, and I'm pretty sure one of them's a Situation super bad dude. Um, right. I don't mean that in terms of it's going to kill the science ship, I just mean there's going to be bad guys there, which we'd have to take out anyway, so we'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, what do we want here? Well, let's go with you. And then we'll go with you. Okay. Let me know if you've got any tips as well for optimizing this, because I think we're going to encounter housing issues and job issues. And it seems we encountered them a lot sooner than uh, last playthrough as well. Uh, not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe there isn't. Uh, go, go research it. New ruler. Nice. And uh, we got a bunch of... Uh, unity? Wait, what? Well, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Dang it! Whatever. So, it is, it is like 40... It wasn't like 100%. It's just the majority. So I guess it's a System chance. <gasps> I do kind of want this planning exercise. 25. Okay. System survey complete. Can we expand yet? Like, are you gonna vote with us? No. And we're not nowhere near to... I mean, we're halfway there. Whoa. Well... 
let's look as well. Uh, we could do with building maybe some more uh, constructor ships just to start fleshing out the empire a bit. So you're here. I know, I know, I know. We'll, we'll tell you to go here. No, you're going to go in and then come like straight back. And hopefully they don't. I mean, if they do come and attack you, uh, that would be Special project complete. very unfortunate. Hi. Oh, goody, you did it. I thought that we arrived there, but oops. Sorry, guys. You can pause the video, though, and check out the uh, the text. I thought we arrived at a new uh, system as all. Uh, a new shrine. Oh, thank gosh. Just going to scooch around the ed he edge here. There we go. Move. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Oh, that's unfortunate. I like little... I like these guys. What are, what level are they? Uh, numerous petty kingdoms. So that's what? Uh, Iron Age. Cool. Good for you guys. Ooh, 22. Here we go. Now we've approached someone. Alright, maybe I was wrong. I guess uh, you can, can just go back to base. Sorry about that. Uh, we do need to consider... A, oh, we should really, really grab some of these because I know e... wait who's taking damage they're fighting stop fighting uh oh no we're at war with these guys oh no well there goes our federation I guess oh it's you who's taking damage um is the thing You're only superior, and we can't invite people to the Federation now. Oh, right. We're going to have to do full military. Like, all-out military stuff now. Where's, where's science? Yep, yep, that's fine. Okay. Ship designer. Let's double check. Okay. 2.9. 3.6. However, you go straight through... Or, oh, you don't go straight through, but you do basically rip their armor apart we can then let it go a little bit let it go a little bit try and see one of their dudes oh no we got more people hi more what oh that's cool Come Special project complete. oh hi uh we have reported back with uh, the findings of the percipient's shrine they recognized early on that a text of some logographic script is inlaid in the walls, heavily distorted by the layers of translucent lacquer. I have no idea what that means. Initial attempts at unscrapping the text rely on relying on the raw processing power of the computers to reconstruct the text from plain images proved fruitless, as it was simply too distorted to place in any known lingual family tree. Next, the crew... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what was it? Uh, I was about to call the mission a failure when looking up at the irritably paced along the edges. Oh, irritably paced along as they did it. Uh, secret space. They realized that discrete lines of cohesive text were momentarily forming before their eyes, melting away only to be replaced by new lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piece it all together. What do we do? Uh, the complete doctrine of the gods for that is what the recovered texts have been regarded as, dwarfing the fairy tale scraps upon which the old Adario religions were founded, is a shocking shockingly revelatory is as shockingly revelatory as it is revolutionary. My god try saying that like a thousand times uh, ten times. With only a little bit of creative interpretation, it is clear that the people of the of Adaris were meant for great things, guided by the strong hand of a religious leader. So here we have to decide if we're going to go religion. I don't think we are. Suppress the findings. We gain influence. Not really that fuss on that right now. We monetize it. We get a bit of uh, money. We don't need money. What can we learn from it? We get a bit of that. Or we become spiritualist. Oh, but look, all the unity is very, very, very tempting. No, I'm not going to go spiritualist. We're not doing a spiritualist playthrough. We, we will do one eventually. 
Um, our passes want to godhood. Oh, but I kind of... I don't know if this is an actual storyline, or if it just ends here and it's just a way to switch to spiritualist. I think we do this. It's more in line with our character, right? We are materialists and we're xenophile and we want, want to learn more. It's like history. We want to see where it goes. We're not really just going to suddenly upend and go from materialist to spiritualist. Um, one day we might. Another playthrough, but not this time. I think we're going to go with this. But let me know in the comments if you guys think, if you know if this is a longer chain, if we choose this option. So I assume these three, they just end it right here. But I don't want to take this, change the spiritualist, at, and then, like, suddenly, you know, we're, like, that's the end of this, like, all four of them end it. If this continues it, I'd be more re uh, ready to do it, but I, I think it, I'm just going to go with this one. Boom. Okay, you, you can go do what you were doing. Where's their enemy? Where's the enemy? System survey complete. Because I would quite... I mean, we could send the ship all the way down here. He might be able to sneak a peek. But I don't know. You have 139. Wow. So what kind of war are we in? Xeno purification war. Right. Right. Okay. Well... I, I don't know what to do. New frontiers established. Uh, yeah, we'll extend the deal. We can certainly buy a bunch of alloys and strengthen Building up. A new home. You void clouds. They're fighting. Yeah. Stop fighting. Now who's at war? The Yanari. Oh, that's interesting. Living metal lakes. Um, yeah, again, just well, it's not too far. Got another 20 we got 25 percent towards it Construction complete. it's not too far we'd have to skip this system and colonize it similar to what we did Anomaly there found. research ah uh, come on do some scouting already you only have like two entry points you have here and here okay three you only have three system entry points complete. jeez uh. all right you know what i think we're just going to go and upgrade them based on our current information. Now, I usually go the, I usually replace them like that. I kind of want to do that one each, because this is only level one for now. At level three, I always go like replace lasers. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, I've complete, you know, uh, someone's uh, very kind in the comments in the last series and guided me through a whole bunch of this stuff, which I've completely forgotten. Uh, so I'll probably go look through those comments again, but by all means let me know uh, if it's different this time, of course. Uh, did we get the new tech? Not yet. Okay, I mean there's nothing here just yet. Okay, well we'll do that. I mean at the very least we can maybe do that and then upgrade you and the armor. There we go. Change you over as well. Do we need you? Oh, we can get better engines. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Okie doke. I don't know if that's good or not. I, I can't tell who what they are. I should have checked it out, knowing that we'd go to war with them at some point. But whatever. Uh, fleet manager. This is number two. Why can't we? Is it bugged? No. It was a little bit bugged, but not anymore. Um, yeah, now it's working correctly. Okay, cool. Boom. Let's go ahead and buy a bunch of alloys. We got a ton of cash and minerals, so we can afford it. Um, do that. Please and thank you. Um, you're about to fill up as well, actually. We'll do that. and We won't spend them all at once. We'll, we'll maybe come back to it. Uh, nice. Reinforce. Good, good, good. We should probably, whilst we're on the subject, we will actually buy some more. Like, there. And, uh, I think we will upgrade, uh, uh, 
Mm -hmm. Right. Let's look here. Oh, I wish I could just filter on trade nodes. Well, you can. You have to build everything up. On that note, uh, little dude, you just come around, build it all up. You're going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of minerals, but that's fine. Here we go. Okay. Um, tell you what, you can come here. Here, and then you can also help. Boop. Um. Sh sure. Go do that now. Then come back. And come here. And come here. We we'll grab that. Okay. Cool. I was to put you on like that. And then if you've got time and it's not been done, go do that. So where would be a good place for a trade station? We put it here. One station is one, two. Two is that one and that one and that one. Three would be this, this. Four would be that. I think that's it then. So yeah, four would basically grab all of this, I think. Let's see. One, wait a minute. I was being stupid. Wait, no, I wasn't. Uh, oh yeah, we're putting it here. One, two, three, four. We'll basically grab all of the trade. No, it wouldn't. There's a nice big one down there. That's what she said. Um, right. Because we're going to get all this eventually. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's basically a whole fully upgraded, isn't it? One yeah, it's a low I mean that is a lot of trade. So we could do that eventually. Or we can have two. So like could have one here. Be one, two, three, four, and then like two other things. One two three four one two three four one two three four. yeah we need we need three one two three one two three one two three two we need three to get this one We put it here, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, but then, it, I'm trying to do this efficient. We put it here, one, two, one, two. One, two, th we still need three. One, two, three, one, two. We need four to grab this one. Oh no, 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 if we have it here. So this is where we need the Civ 6's uh, little pins, trackers, so we can just drop one down, move it around. No, uh, drop it down and remind us to put it here, because then it's like one, two, one, two, one, and that's it. That's good. Uh, one, two. I could go three and grab this. One, two, three. Yeah. Three to grab this. Let me just move it here. One, two, one, two, one. Yeah, there we go. So we put it here, go with three. Put it here, go with two. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to upgrade you. And we can grab it all now, actually. Good, 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 good. Um, let's go ahead and build maybe something here as well. Like, oh, it's not a choke point, though. That's a choke point. This is a choke point. So there's no trade here other than this. One, two. 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 Okay, yeah, we'll put it here. Put one here. There we go. We do have this already. One, two, one, two. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and put two trade hubs like so. That's all fine. I want some star bases as well. We could put one here. Oh, there we got one there. Yeah, why don't we put some um, anchorages? Uh, star. No, anchorages. And. What are you? 
anchorages. One, two, three, four. We'll upgrade you and that'll be fine. Why did we put it there? Hang on. It's like, I know we have... Oh, it doesn't... Oh, wait. We gotta do that. I mean, I guess it's because we would plan to get a bunch here. Move it back to here. One, two, three, four. We'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Because this will have, when when the colonies start doing stuff, I think it will produce. Uh, although we already got that. Build a trade hub. That'd be fine. Uh, grab all this. Um, run to anchorages. We're upgrading you, so it's either one, two, three, four, just for that. I'd always just upgrade this. Alright. Just because I know I will forget. Um, we'll sell like... Thousand food. There we go. 500. There we go. We'll upgrade you. We'll grab a starbase here. And I can't... We already got one there. There are going to be an anchorage. Okay. Oh, it's so messy. I need, I need to fill it out more, but... Oh, there's been, like... That's a nice world. We could get rid of them. Easy. Oh, we need to fill out. I, as much as I would love to, it would be nice if we could grab this, but with us being at war with these guys, I think they're going to maybe come this way. It would be nice to just take all of this. Just blob out. But uh, oh, it's going to take for a while. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments where we should go from here. What do, you, what do you guys recommend? I would have loved to have added these guys to the Federation, but they declared war on us and they're really powerful. It's going to take a long time. But we have allies. But I don't know if they are much stronger than us. They have a lot of little fleets. Uh, they got a thousand. They got like 2k there. Like, they're overwhelming, so they're probably, hopefully, uh, only um, superior, if not equivalent. Well, they won't be equivalent because these guys are superior. We could look at the Senate. Do little cheaty face. What What's their emblem? It is... Are they not in the Senate? I'm not seeing them anywhere. I don't think they're in the Senate. Can they not? If you're a xenophobe, can you not join the Senate? Oh, well, that sucks. I guess maybe it's in situation log it will reveal their military strength. You, oh. Okay. Militar oh, no, it doesn't. Just, just the school. They're more. They have a higher tech level than us. What do we get up? Oh, we get our points from the um, uh, the relic and the federation, and our subject empire. Oh. I have no idea how strong they are compared to our ally. Don't know, but we'll see how the well, oh well, we've really expanded as well, so our economy is going to skyrocket. And uh, before I forget, you know, what? yes, 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 yes. We could build two. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll go build that. Build a bunch of them. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, uh, let me know in the comments how you think we should handle these guys. So I want it to be quick so they don't either form another federation or join another federation. I want these two part of ours. It would have been if it wasn't for you. I should just obliterate them and ate them. But that's too nice. But hopefully we can end this war quickly. Let me know in the comments how we can do that. Um, we are building up our military, basically to maximum strength. Um, we're going to go up to 60. It's only 10 above our cap. It should be fine. Our economy is pretty, pretty tanky, so we I think we'll be fine. And we're expanding our um, star bases as well. Oh, I don't know. It's a mess. It's a big, big mess. Rigel. 
Ah, it's a real star system, I do believe. Uh, what do we want? Mutagen. I guess we'll go this way. Or not. Okay. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I could really use your advice. Should we grab this area? Or should we just focus on building up our empire first? Because we are very big and we haven't built it up at all, really. Like, look at all these systems. Oh. Look at all these systems waiting. We can always build another builder here and just, like, fill it out a bit. And uh, stuff. We started over here. We can do it a little bit over here. I want to grab a few of these systems. But I don't know. Our, our main focus now is going to be the war. But... Ah, oh, this is bad. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like. I really appreciate the support if you could. And also leave a comment. Uh, I love reading what you guys say and your feedback and your advice. Uh, just because I'm no expert at this game. So I love uh, hear seeing what you guys uh, uh, have to say. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget the little bell icon in the right, uh, towards the right of the uh, subscribe button. Uh, just lets you know when new episodes go live. But... That's it for me for today. A little bit longer than an episode, just because a lot happened at the very end there. Uh, but should be fine. I still can't believe these guys just went pop. This is really scaring me now. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then, take care.